So when you're self-employed, you work from home, you work for yourself, you are the boss now and you are in charge of everything. You're in charge of what you do, when you do it, uh, what you're going to do tomorrow, what you're going to do in a week's time, a month's time, a year's time, whatever. You are in charge of your entire day. You decide when you get up, you decide when you go to sleep. Now, obviously, there may be uh, other people in your life that have some influence on this. But if you're like me, uh, I'm married, I have no children, I have pets but they usually stay quiet in the mornings. They're well-trained. Uh, so today I want to talk about my how I organize my work day and my work week to give you some ideas and inspiration for how you might like to do the same. G'day there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess Van Den. I have been running my own successful online handmade business, Ethereal, since 2008. And since 2010, I've been 100% self-employed. So I've been doing this for over a decade now. I have a lot of experience and a lot of time and a lot of experimentation on how to run my life when I am in charge of it completely and I am in charge of my time. So let's go through uh, a typical day and week for me. Now, before we do that, I'm just going to give you a caveat of everybody's going to be a little bit different here because you have a different personality, you have different tendencies. What works for me might not work for you. So I'm just sharing what works for me. Now, I'm the sort of person who likes systems and habits, but I also like flexibility and freedom. Okay. So this is kind of there can be a tension between those two things, but I personally have found a way that works really well for me where I have general habits and systems on a daily and weekly basis and monthly actually and yearly. But anyway, we probably won't get into that. Um, but then I also have flexibility and freedom in my work and life days and weeks, etc., so that I never feel <laughs> the, like I'm like trapped and penned in and I have to do certain things at certain times because that does not appeal to my personality. So that is what you're getting into here. And that's the sort of thing I'm going to be talking more about uh, habits and systems rather than I do this from this time to this time and that I am, you know, tightly scheduled. I am not that person. I am not the person who has like between 1 and 1 15 PM on Thursday, I will be doing this activity. Mm, that does not work for me. Uh, <laughs> I like a bit more uh, freedom in my life than that. However, that being said, I do have every Tuesday or Wednesday, I will be doing this task. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So let's start with my general daily routine for a work day. Now I work a four day work week. So I work Monday to Thursday on Fridays. I might dip in briefly at the end of the day, just to answer any urgent messages, but that is the only work I do on a Friday. Again, that being said, occasionally if it's a real nice day on a Wednesday, I might just say, you know what, I'm going to take today off and I'm going to work Friday instead. Or I want to go do something with a friend or a family member, or there's something I want to go to. And this is one of the benefits of flexibility, being self-employed. I just switch the day that I'm doing those things. So I work a four day work week, usually Monday to Thursday. A work day looks something like this. I wake up without an alarm. I wake up when my body's ready to, then I will have a cup of tea and breakfast in bed while I'm maybe catching up on some reading, whether it's novels or the news or forums or social media, whatever it might be. Just having some chill time in bed with my husband and my cat. And we're just starting the day slowly. I like to start the day slowly. I don't, I'm not one of those people who can just leap out of bed and go for it. It's just, no, <laughs> I don't enjoy that. It's not my, not my thing. So I start the day slowly, have at least an hour awake in bed in the mornings. And then after that, generally speaking, I will get up and do some sort of exercise. So we might go for an ocean swim. I might do some strength training. I might hop on the elliptical. Uh, in winter, I might go for a walk. In summer, it's way too hot and the UV is way too high by that time. Uh, so some sort of exercise. Then generally, I'll have a shower, get dressed. And by then, it's usually somewhere between 9.30 and 10.30 in the morning. And that's when I get to work. So I'll go come to my office. <laughs> I'll sit down. I'll look at my diary. So I have my to-do list for the day in my diary, my uh, paper diary. And I'll know what's going on. I'll know what appointments I have that day. And then I'll just work until lunchtime on whatever I need to work on. Then we, we stop for lunch. We have lunch together every day and we might watch a bit of news and then I'll get back to work around 12, 
45, 1 o'clock, and then I'll work through until anywhere from 3 to 5 p.m., depending on how much work I have to do that day and what do I need what I need to do that day. Uh, some days I'll need to go down into the jewelry studio and make jewelry. Other days I'll have to record like I'm doing right now. Now I'm doing this just before lunch because the light here is good in the mornings. So I always record in the mornings in my office. I obviously have lights as well, but I have a lot of natural light just coming in here. You can probably see it fluctuating a little bit uh, as the sun comes behind the clouds and so on. And then, then you know, there um, that's my general work day. Then I'll, in, again, in winter, spring, uh, winter and autumn, I'll generally go for an afternoon walk after I finish work and then we'll have dinner and then I'll chill for the rest of the evening. I might read a book, make an ASMR video, do some other hobby, whatever. So that's my general day. And that's a, a microcosm of a work day. You can see there, it's pretty flexible. Like I have kind of work periods and I have work times, but I don't have exact work times. I have like, I start work when I'm finished that morning routine and I finish work when I've done everything I need to do that day. <laughs> some days it might be sooner, earlier, some days it might be later. It just depends. And then uh, that's my work day. Let's now talk about work week. This is actually where I have much more of a schedule when it comes to my work week because I have repetitive things that happen every single week in my business and they, so certain things get done on certain days. Okay. So let me just scroll down here. So each day of the week I have specific tasks and things that I do. So number one, Mondays, I never schedule appointments on Mondays. I don't schedule work appointments and I don't schedule personal appointments. It has to be some really exceptional reason that I will schedule an appointment on a Monday because Mondays are my day to get myself organized. Okay. Mondays are when I sit down after my three day weekend, catch up on email, catch up on messages in my membership community, catch up on social media messages. Basically I'm catching up on anything I missed for the last few days, uh, getting back to my customers, all of that sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, Nick, my husband works with me full time in the business as well, and he has his own routine. So on a Monday morning, for example, he'll sit down and write down all the uh, orders that came in over the weekend, and then he'll give me those and I'll, I'll um, double check them, quality control check, make sure we've got everything written down right. And then he'll take that back and he'll start the jewelry making process for the week. So he has um, a, a process that he works through during the week for me. So Monday, catching up YouTube comments, all that sort of stuff. Then I'll start on any other work that I really have to get done. That's really important to get done that week. I will get started on that on Monday. Once I've caught up with everything else, Tuesdays, generally speaking, I will get the weekly video and podcast ready. So what I do with my videos is I batch record. So I record like three or four videos at once. So each week I'll, this will be the day where I'll sit down and make sure that the video for that week is edited. I'll upload it, do my keyword research uh, and all of that sort of stuff. If I've got a podcast for that week, again, this is the day where I'll get all that organized. I'll edit up my podcast and then I've got an email that I send out each week and I'll get that organized. Now, if I don't get all of that done on Tuesday, I'll finish it on Wednesday because my video podcast and email goes out on a Thursday morning. So Wednesday is the last opportunity I have to get all that stuff organized. So if I don't, for whatever reason, finish it on Tuesday, I finish that work on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, I just finish up anything else that's not done earlier in the week. So I do have that rhythm every single week. Now, jewelry making fits in where it needs to. Sometimes I do some on a Monday. Sometimes I'll do some on a Thursday and then we'll get it out the door that day. It basically fits in around my other tasks. And it also depends on where Nick's up to because he does certain work with the jewelry. I do other work with the jewelry. So he needs to prep stuff before I can then go ahead and make the stuff that he has prepped for me. So that is my general weekly routine. And of course, in there, there's a whole bunch of other jobs that I do. Uh, I have to keep up with emails and messages all throughout the week. I need to do my social media and other marketing tasks throughout the week. Uh, I need to do stuff related to my other podcast, the business I'm making sometimes. Now, outside of those normal work hours, I usually have one or two days a month where I'm working in the evening. And the reason for that is because in my membership community, I do live chats, calls and workshops. And sometimes I do them in the evening so that my UK and European uh, people can access them and participate. 
And sometimes I have to do a podcast interview in the evening as well for the same reason. So that means a couple of times a month I'm working maybe at seven between, you know, 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. or at night. And that's just what you do when you have a business. Sometimes you have to work outside your normal work hours and that's fine. So that's my general week, my general day, my general week. Sometimes on a Friday, I might do a recording with the girls from the Business of Making podcast that I'm a part of. Not a big deal because I really enjoy it and it's fun. (laughs) Uh, Again, like I said, sometimes I might switch a work day around, but I generally do not work on weekends and haven't for a very, very long time now. Obviously back when I started and I had a full-time job, then of course I did work on weekends sometimes because I had limited amounts of time to work and a lot of you might do the same. But now that it is my full-time gig and has been for over a decade, I can organize my work day. I have also experimented with having um, a full day, four day work week taking off midweek days so for example we experimented having like Wednesdays off and then working on Saturdays but the thing is most of our friends have normal jobs <laughs> so if we want to hang out with them it makes more sense to for us to take off a week the normal weekend because that's when everybody else is available uh, but that's also one of the reasons one of the reasons why we do have a four-day work week instead of a five-day work week is because we don't need to have a five-day work week to get a lot of work done and we were just we found that we were just faffing around and procrastinating just because we were working five days a week and when we finally bit the bullet and decided to do a four-day work week it was so much better because we were more efficient and we got all our work done in four days and then we had a non-weekend day to go do stuff when other people are at work it's great (laughs) you can go do your shopping or do some errands or go to a cafe or you know go swimming or whatever it might be and it's a lot quieter because other people are actually still at work so that is one of the benefits of having days off during the week as well when you are self-employed so if you can do a four-day work week I really strongly recommend it it is awesome now the final thing I always do and let me have a look here is I generally leave white space in my calendar. Now, because as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not a person who schedules my time. I'm more like, these are my work hours. These are the jobs I need to get done today. And then I fit them in. And then sometimes one of them will roll over to the next day. Sometimes I'll get them done early and I'll get started on tomorrow's jobs. I like to be a bit more flexible with my work time like that. And one of the important parts for me of being flexible is always making sure I don't over plan and over commit myself to work. So generally speaking, I won't have stuff on Thursday or I won't have stuff planned for Thursday afternoon because inevitably something comes up and it means that, you know, if I've overscheduled myself and I've planned to do too much that week, I run out of time to do everything I want to do. And that's a recipe for stress and also having to work the next day. So generally speaking, I will kind of schedule Monday to Wednesday and then Thursdays I'll generally leave pretty wide open for whatever comes up that needs to be done. And then that's time that I will use uh, to do longer range work. So for example, last week I sat down and I did a bunch of updating my SEO in my Etsy shop because I hadn't done that for a while. You might want to spend that time updating your photos. You might want to do some research to software to use. Um, for example, so even if you don't have urgent tasks and jobs that need to get done, you will always, always find something that you can do in that blank space if you've left a bit of white space in your calendar. And I find that much more relaxing and knowing that I have that little bit of extra time to catch up on stuff, to deal with any fires that may have been lit (laughs) throughout the week. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's a nice relaxing way to work because you know, you've got the time to do what you need to do. And that's it. That is my general time management strategy, my general routine for my workday and my work week. I also do some things on a monthly basis. So for example, one of the things I do is I have a monthly uh, planning day. So this is a day where I take myself out of my normal environment and I just plan. So I do like plan for, you know, say I've got a product launch coming up. Um, I've got a workshop I'm, um, I've got a plan for. I might plan uh, some, you know, content that I need to work on. Whatever it might be, it's just a day where I take myself away from my my room and I go to like a cafe, a library, and I usually like 
take myself out for a day, treat myself to a nice meal and do some long-term planning. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about why I do that and how to do it, I have a workshop on that in the Thriver Circle. Uh, you can check that out at thrivercircle.com. I also have a workshop on time management for creatives that you might be interested in. That's also in the workshops library in my membership community, the Thriver Circle. And there's over 40 plus handmade business workshops, video workshops in there right now for you. Uh, if you need some further help and guidance with your handmade business, go check that out. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, what's your daily work look like like what is your what's your schedule what do you do what do you do over the week do you have like a weekly schedule or a fortnightly schedule or a monthly schedule how do you organize everything in your business i would love to know are you one of the, are you one of those real tight schedulers or does this sort of more loose and uh ephemeral schedule <laughs> scheduling with you know habits and, and systems built in does that appeal more to you i don't know I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon with another video and bye for now.